What you guys got another video here for you on how to recover data from a deleted partition. So it's happened probably to everyone at some point in their life where they've gone to install Windows and they've forgotten they've had their drives plugged into the computer and they've gone and deleted the wrong drive and removed all of the partitions from that drive, which means you can't access your data. But you can still recover that data. If you look here, what people tend to do is have a bunch of different drives. This is only one drive in here, but if you've got four different drives or two different drives, and you start hitting the delete key and deleting these, these will then become uh, unallocated space, which means you can't access that drive because you've deleted the partition table and all of the data will be removed from that drive because you can't access it. But fear not, you can still recover uh, the data on that drive. But it's very important that you don't click continue and install Windows on the drive that you've just uh, deleted the partition table on. Instead, what you want to do is back out, remove the power from that drive and install Windows on the correct drive. And once the installation of Windows is complete, you can put the power back into the drive which you deleted the partition table on and you will see a drive with unallocated space. You can see we've got a six terabyte drive here which had the partition table deleted on. Now there is a ton of data on this drive and yet I've removed the partition table and I can't access the drive. So how can we recover our data on this drive very quick and easily? Let me show you how you can do it. So what you're gonna to need to do is get a piece of software and there's tons of them out there, but I'm gonna use the mini tool partition wizard. And this is the free version here. You can see the drive is up the top here, unallocated six terabytes so what i'm going to do is we're going to try to recover this and recover all our data on this drive because it will recover the partition table which will then give us access to this drive so let's go ahead and uh, try to get this data back so what we're going to do is go up to wizard and then we're going to go partition recovery wizard then we're going to click next and we're going to highlight the drive that we want to recover the partition table on so you've got three options available full disk unallocated space and specific range. You can choose which one uh, you need to do here. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put it on the unallocated space here. So let's put the radio button in here and I'm gonna scan the free space only. So this is what I'm gonna do. We can do a quick scan and I'm gonna try a quick scan first and straight away you can see that partition table has started to come up. And this is the partition table that got deleted. Now, because we never installed Windows on this, this is going to make it a lot more easier to recover. But if you start installing Windows on that deleted partition table, you're going to have a lot more trouble trying to recover the data on that drive using the quick scan method. So let me now highlight this and apply these changes so we can then recover this partition. Now, you may find that different types of partitions which it does recover. Choose the correct one for your uh, recovery. I'm going to click OK here. Now we've now recovered the partition table for that drive. But when you look inside this PC here, you may be wondering why you can't see your drive. We have recovered the partition, so we need to right click on the start button and we need to go back to disk management. Inside here, you can see the partition table has been recovered, but there is no drive letter for that drive. So we need to allocate a drive letter for this drive so we can now access this uh, data on the drive. So let me go ahead and right click and change the drive letter and paths on this drive. You can give it a, a drive letter of your choice. And once this is done, you should now see the drive will be become visible on our this PC section. So let's go back here and we should now see the drive. And when you click on this, hey presto, you have all of your precious data recovered by recovering the partition table for that particular drive. Now this is a very common problem because what people do is they have more than one drive installed in their computer and when they go to do a fresh install of Windows they start deleting the wrong partitions on the drive. So you have to be very very careful. A much more simpler way of installing Windows would be to disconnect the power from all of the drives that you have plugged in apart from the drive that you want to install Windows on. This is probably the most safest way so you don't ever delete the partition table. So as you can see here, I can now click on 
these folders and all of my data is in here and yes it is accessible we can click on these and it will open up as you can see here so all the data is safe so there is always a way of getting your data back and it's very quick and easy as i showed you here so i hope this video has been some sort of use to you check out some of my other videos on my youtube channel i've got over 2500 videos on there ranging from how-to videos to building pcs to fixing problems and loads of other types of content just like that also while you're there you might as well hit the subscribe button and then click the bell and click all to be notified when we upload new videos if you want to support me a little bit further you can click the join button and i have three tiers of support on here where the second line of support will get your name added to the end credits of all my videos so check out all the options available inside the join button anyway that is going to be about it for this video i just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my second line support. I really do appreciate it. Your names are rolling up on the screen right now. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Don't forget to check out the video description for the link to our Discord server. It's free to join. And if you have joined my YouTube members group, make sure you mention it in the general chat area and I will give you the appropriate role for your tier of support.